Howdy folks, welcome to another beautiful day out here in West Van. Today was actually a nice day, it was nice and warm again. Apparently tomorrow we got a little bit of cloud and cold and then for the rest of the week it's going to be nice and warm and toasty and sunny. Can't wait, it's going to be amazing. Now I've got an event on, on Friday and Saturday so I'm going to be inside the event halls and couldn't go out to the beach, that sucks. But any which way. So today I want to talk about something else, you know, it's just like... It's amazing when, you know, one of the hardest things when you move to a different country away from everybody else is that you kind of lose your network. You know, the people around you that you that you know and that you've known for a long time and that you trust and that you can call on or that can advise you and can help you out and do stuff like that. And that really is one of the hardest things when you move to a new country. For those of you that remember, I made a video a while ago about our car that went in and they want to charge us $2,000 to do the brakes and replace the calipers and the disc pads and the rotors. Well, that's what they call the discs over here. And this whole job. And I mean, I was like, wow, that's just too much. Now, if it was back home, I would have known where to go to get it fixed. You know, I know a couple of mates that can help out and things like that. And the, what, I, what I actually want to get to is over here, I... I didn't think I had that, but you are so mistaken. You know, after that video, one of the people that, that comes here and bries with us, Brahm, um, and that's, you know, that's, um, that's been following the channel and stuff like that. They also recently moved to Vancouver. We met them at the bry, the, the cheap sheep spit bry last year. Anyway, so Brahm messages me and he's like, hey, I brought my tools from South Africa. So if you order the stuff online, we can just get it fixed. And I was like, wow you see and that is the amazing thing it's it's like you miss that when you move away from your home because you know we all have that support network around us but it doesn't mean that when you arrive in a new place that you shouldn't have that support network you know we should all be there for each other and that is you know we we try and make a point and and i mean it's people like brahm that's absolutely amazing that offers that and and you know how much price difference it is well we haven't put it in yet because i was a little bit late i was supposed to order the stuff online so i ordered it online and the the full kit and i mean I'm, i didn't buy the cheap kit i buy bought the the bigger you know the the proper kit for my car the rear disc rotors the pads and the calipers and the full kit cost like $230 plus like $40 shipping. So $270 worth of parts that they wanted to charge us over two grand for to replace it. Anyway, long story short, we haven't put it in just yet because Brahm came through on Saturday, but I only ordered the stuff late. So they only arrived the next Monday. And then last week we were away in the week before. So it's all over. But in the next couple of days, we'll organize it. But it's, I think what I also want to say is, when you are so far away from your house, from your home, and, and you feel like you don't have that support network, don't be mistaken. There's awesome people everywhere. You know, I walked, uh, I spoke to somebody else, and I was like, oh, Brahm said he's going to come and help me out with the brakes on my car. He's got his tools here, so we can do it. I mean, to, 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 to change brakes on a car is not rocket science. If you've got the tools, it's easy enough to do. So I was telling Dries and then Dries said, oh yeah, now I've done that plenty of times. I'll also come through. So anyway, long story short, they all came through, what was it, two, three Saturdays ago to come and fix the brakes. And then I didn't have the parts here. So we just did a braai and had a few beers. But um, so we'll organize that in the near future and just replace everything. Ah, now I've gone off on a different tangent again. What I wanted to say is there's always people around and the nice, the, the thing that you got to teach yourself is when you're so far away from home is reach out to other people, reach out to your friends. It's actually not that difficult to build up a new support network, you know, um, it is what it is. If you have a problem, reach out to us. I don't mind. We try and help people all the time where, you know, if you're lonely, if you, um, stressed, <laughs> We are all immigrants, you know, a lot of us are here and, you know, you are far from your old support network and it's easy enough to build up a new support network. We don't have to be friends, we don't have to be anything, we just have to be nice. That's not that hard, is it? 
<laughs> anyway, folks, so I was just thinking about that today and it was just um, also somebody, somebody called me last week and, or messaged me and said they're taking a little bit of strain and they, they, they just need to talk to somebody. So we meet up with him um, for a coffee on Sunday and we went for a walk and had a chat and, you know, sometimes you just need somebody there that you feel like, you know, you just feel, need to feel like you have a little bit of a support there. Not that you're even going to use the support, but anyway. So that was an interesting concept and an interesting thought. And um, on that thought at the same time, it's amazing, you know, when you, when you immigrate or you're so far away from everybody else, um, it's up to you to reach out to other people. It's up to you to go out there and to say, hey, how's it going? Um, this is who I am. Introduce yourself. Go and find your people, you know. I speak to some people and they go, yeah, it's very lonely. Yeah, it's hard to make friends and stuff like that. And, and it can be. It really can be. It can be very intimidating, especially if you haven't traveled a lot. For us, it wasn't that hard because we've traveled a lot. But even us, we don't have a lot of local friends we've met a few people okay well i have to also say that <laughs> i suppose um me and melinda are very set in our ways we're very happy with ourselves and with our with our family so you know um we have this bad habit of just like hanging out with ourselves and not necessarily needing to go and hang out with other people but we've met quite a few people here already and that's purely by actually just reaching out and saying hey how's it going come on over let's do a braai Let's go for a coffee. Let's just go and do something. And I think when you arrive here as a new immigrant and you feel like you're lonely, and don't take this the wrong way, but it is on you to go and make friends. You're the person that's just arrived. You are the person that has to go out there and go find your people. Go look for your people where they are. Because um, it was like I was saying to, to this chap on, on, on Sunday, you know, we've met lots of people when they arrive and um, we go out for a coffee with them and we hang out with them for a little while and then they move on because they're youngsters. They, they have a different lifestyle than us. They want to go out and go paddleboard and stuff like that. I, we don't do that. So, you know, we're, we're just there. We just all hang. We, we don't necessarily hang out. But I know that I can call them if I need something and they know that they can call us if they need something. And when they arrived here, just having a friendly face and speaking the language, that actually helped. And we all need to do that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. It's kind of on you. When you arrive and you want to make friends, go and find your friends. If you are religious, go and find a church where your people hang out and, and mix with the people there. If you're a, a sport guy or a crossfit or a gymmer or a tennis player or a whatever you are, go and find your people. That's what's amazing about my, my partner, Sven. I mean, he's traveled the whole world. He's been in like 105 countries in the world, my business partner. And Sven, you can drop him in any place, anywhere in the world, and within a day, he would know a bunch of people because the one thing that Sven is not is he's not shy. I remember he used to like land in a place where he knows nobody and what he would do is he would grab his squash racket, go down to the squash court, go play a couple of games of squash, meet up with some people there that introduces him to some other people and before long Sven had a network in every city. He's got a network all around the world really, that guy. And that's how you do it. So if you immigrate and you move to a new place, just Go out there, put yourself out there, go find your people where they are. You know, if you love fishing, join the fishing club. If you love shooting, join the gun club. If you love running, join the running club. I mean, just from the, the, the 5K park run down the road here that we do on Saturdays, the guys there, every Saturday after the run, they go for a... <laughs> They go for a coffee at the coffee shop close to there and they become friends and they hang out. Well, I haven't joined them, not because I don't want to be friends with them, but because I'm generally dead after the five Ks and I can hardly speak. So then I just need to come home and sit for an hour or two. Maybe one day when I'm fitter, I will go and hang out with them. Anyways, folks, long rant for the day. You all must have an absolutely beautiful one. And just know that there's always a support network. 
there are awesome people in the world and you just gotta you know you just gotta look out for them and find them and give them the opportunity to be awesome which is also very important you know we south africans are generally very um untrusting because you know in africa you always like kind of walk with your eyes open so um you know you always like think what are, what, what what's going what's going on there are nice people in the world. All right, folks, have a good one. Cheers.